Hello, welcome to Tech KZ. Good afternoon to everyone. Today in this video, we'll see a very useful macro, which is a visual basic code. Just with one click, we can insert the names and that to wherever we want. For example, if I select this cell and if I click one button click, all the names get inserted automatically. This I have done using macros or visual basic code concept in MS Excel. See under developer option, for example, if you don't have this developer option, you need to enable it. If you don't know how to enable it, check in the description. I have already did a video on that. Under developer, there is something called visual basic C. You need to click on this visual basic. So you will have this option like insert and click on module so that you will enter into this space. You need to write this simple code in order to insert these names. Don't worry, I'll explain each and every word of this means the each line of code so that you can also print the name something like this on wherever you want. See here. So you may ask me how you are getting those names. See here, there is an array I declared. See, where is this? Uh, declared names as a variant and whichever name which is in this array is repeating there for example I'll just delete or cut for my purpose all these names just for the tutorial purpose just for a moment I'm just deleting all these names okay now only there are three names Alice Bob and Charlie now we'll check the output so yeah Whatever there is in the array will get displayed here. So if you add a new name here, just by giving the comma and opening the quotes, new name and closing the quote, that's it. Now we'll check the output. See, new name. So you may ask me like the same thing instead of writing in that array, you can also write it here by uh, just entering like Allies or Bob here the same thing the uh, same amount of time you are spending here but there is a difference for example if you want these names in this particular new sheet here also you can use by single click wherever you are using this excel there is a, if there is a predefined macro in whichever area you can use this uh, what is this names likewise i also did another program on how to insert the serial numbers or employee IDs. so if you write macros like this and keep it here it will be very useful because time and again if you want to enter the same names uh, it would be a bit harder to copy all these column you see you need to copy this here and the sh uh, in the new sheet you need to paste it somewhere here Paste special all the all these things you need to uh, do something like this see here but writing the code will be really useful so how you can uh, write this under developer options macros when you write I'll try to open this yeah I'll explain now each line in the code first of all you need to write sub here sub is nothing but a subroutine and this is the function name or the method name. I have given something like insert names in list. Open the parentheses and close the parentheses. And here I need two variables selected row and selected column. These both can be integers no problem. And I is for the for loop iteration. And difference leave it aside. Now we are not using this difference. Okay. And see here the selected row and the selected co column we need just because see here in the output wherever whichever cell i am selecting from there the names are getting inserted so i need the selected column and the selected row so for the, the same purpose i have uh, used the selected row and selected comma variables and how we can get the selected uh, column or the selected row so uh, yeah selected row is equal to selection dot row this is the predefined variables or the predefined methods so you need to write something like selection dot row and selection dot comma and these values will be written automatically as these are uh, predefinedly available okay 
so yeah array as variant i declare names as the variant in the names i wrote something like array and open and these are the values for the array whichever name you do here uh, i mean text whichever the text here number of names you can write it here whatever there may be and you can uh, fill up with the names here and later for i equal to 0 i should be iterated up to upper bound of the names names in the sense the total size of the array will be returned here for example 1 2 3 4 5 so now this value will be 5 so i will be iterated something like 0 to 5 and uh, for cells in the sense for example whichever the cell i select the first one see see this on this cell there are two arguments one is the row argument and another is the column argument so cells has two values which is row and the column and this is the row section so, yeah this whole thing is the what is this row section and this is the column and these values will be uh, taken from here column number and dot value is names of i names of zero means when i equal to zero the first name will be uh, placed in the cells of the selected uh, cell and likewise when the for loop iterates the next cell the names will be all included in the list format and coming to this difference in some cases maybe the requirement changes where we need to leave one uh, row for each data value for example if i click on names here see as i gave the difference as one uh, for each name value or the data value there is one row empty so this is just for the customization purpose if i leave like difference is difference plus two then here if i click on the names list for each name there will be two rows uh, will be empty and the new name will be after two rows in this way you can actually customize so yeah you can drop the comments of your opinion below and if you have any questions please do ask in the comment section and if you want any specific requirements something using this vba visual basic script please do ask in the comments so that for the next tutorial i'll try to uh, do a video on that and thanks for watching have a nice day